Okay, let's go ahead and use this to actually start to simplify some algebraic expressions. So if you've got some colored pencils or colored pens, it's not a bad idea to use those. So what I've got to do is find all of the terms in this expression that have the same letter part as 3a. And it's going to be plus 4a. I like to underline the operation in front of it because that's what I have to do. And that tells me that I've got 3a plus 4a. I can add those to get 7a. Okay, let's go and look at the next term, which is 2b squared. Well, this is only a b, and that's only a b. So that's the only term involving a b squared. So plus 2b squared. There's nothing to add to it. Okay, let's go to the next term, which is the number 7, so plus 7. Okay, those in fact are like terms, numbers are like terms, and therefore we get plus 7 plus 6 is plus 13. And finally, let's look at plus 5b minus 4b. Well, they're like terms because the letter part's the same. 5 minus 4 is 1, so the answer is 1b or just plus b. And I'll write all of that nicely in a single color. So 7a plus 2b squared. I think I'll write the plus b next. We like to write the letters before the constant terms. And then plus 13 on the end. And that's the first one simplified. Okay, why don't you have a go at that one and uh, stop the video. And then once you finish, come back and we'll go through it together. Okay, let's see how you went. Okay, looking at the first term in this expression, I've got 6m squared. That's only an m, so that's not a like term, but I can add to it 4m squared. So 6 plus 4 gives me 10m squared. Okay, if you don't have uh, multiple colored pens, the other way you can do it is just underline, in this case, underline that one twice, underline that one twice. Notice I'm underlying the operation in front of the term as well as the term itself. So here I have 5m plus 5m minus 8m. Well, 5m subtract 8m if you want to. Change that again to a plus negative. 5m plus negative 8m is plus 5 plus negative 8 is plus negative 3m. And the only term that's not underlined is the 3. So finally we write plus 3. So you can leave your answer like that, or if you prefer not to have the plus negative, it's 10m squared plus negative 3m is the same as take 3m plus 3. So the rule for adding and subtracting expressions is you can only add and subtract like terms. Okay, have a go at these four. And um, once you've finished, then restart the video and uh, we'll check your answers. Okay, welcome back. Well, let's just quickly go through these. So I've got the right color. 3y plus 2y is 5y. And 4z is not a like term, so we just write that by itself. So there's the first one done. Okay, I'm looking through here. I might write the h squared term first. I only have one of those, so I just copy that, 2h squared. Now I've got a 2h minus a 3, plus a negative 3h plus a negative 4h. So these are all like terms. 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 4 is negative 5h. So you can leave it like that, or if you prefer, you can change the plus negative 5h to subtract 5h. Looking at the third one, again, I think I'll start with the highest power here, which is 2y squared. That's the only one that has a y squared in it. I'll then look at the y terms. So I've got 5y plus negative 4y 
And those are the only y terms. So 5 plus negative 4 is 1. So it's plus 1y, <clears throat> excuse me, or just plus y. Um, the next one is the z term. So better underline the plus sign. I've got two terms involving z. Negative 3z plus 3z. Well, that goes to 0z. So that just basically um, cancels out or goes to 0. And finally, I have negative 5 on the end or subtract 5 on the end. And there's the answer. Okay, with this last one, we've got to be a little bit careful because of all of the powers. This one has p to the power of 2, q to the power of 3. p to the power of 2, q to the power of 3. So those are like terms. And this one's not because p is raised to the third power. And here it's only raised to the second power. So those are like terms. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. And we'll write it in alphabetical order. So p squared q cubed. Again, the fact that these are written in reverse order doesn't matter. In algebra, we can um, change the order that we write the, uh, the uh, factors. And then finally, the last term is 7p cubed times q squared. So once again, we can only add and subtract like terms. And like terms are terms that have exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. OK, I think we'll skip that one. I think we've done enough of those. And is this the last one? No, nope, we got two more pages to go. OK, this time we're going to first simplify. And then once we've done that, we're then going to substitute and evaluate. So I think you could probably have a go at these. So uh, stop the video, first simplify that, and then substitute these values in for x and y. OK, away you go. OK, let's see how you went on these two questions. The first thing we have to do is simplify. So 5x take 1x is 4x. 3y plus 7y is 10y. So there's the simplified expression. Now we're going to substitute. So that's 4 times 1, because x equals 1, plus 10 times 2. 4 times 1 is 4. 10 times 2 is 20. So 4 plus 20 is 24. So the value of that expression, once we substitute, is 24. So we simplified and then evaluated. Looking at the next question, I'll just give myself a bit more space here. Once again, I first have to add like terms. Well, there's only one term that has a 7, uh, sorry, has an x squared in it. So that one just stays the same. xy is the same as yx. So I can add those together, and I get plus 12xy. Always write these in alphabetical order. And then finally, minus 2x. OK, now let's go ahead and substitute. 7, I'll use, the, uh, no, I'll use my brackets again. 7 times 3 squared plus 12 times x, which is 3, times y which is 2, minus 2 times 3. OK, let's go ahead and evaluate. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 7 is 63. Um, 3 times 2 is 6. Um, 12 times 6 is 72, minus 6. OK, I can probably do this one in my head, I think. 60 plus 70 is 130. 3 plus 2 is 5, so 135. 135 takes 6 is 129. So I'm pretty confident that I've done that correctly. OK, one last question. Explain why the two rules below are really the same rule. So rule number one, take a number and multiply it by 3. 
take the same number and multiply it by 7. Then add the two answers together. Now what we have to do, we don't know what the number is, so we'll write a variable for that. I'll, I might use the letter n to stand for number. So take a number and multiply it by 3 is 3n. Take the same number and multiply it by 7, and that's 7n. And when we add those together, because they're like terms, that gives us 10n. Okay, and rule number two says take a number and multiply it by 10. Well, that also gives us 10n. And therefore, the rules give the same answer. Same expression for the answer. And there we go. That's a uh, video on adding and subtracting like terms.